part. And this building is the, the, the most advanced car factory that Earth has ever seen. Earlier this year, during the launch of its new Gigafactory, Giga Texas, Elon finally announced that the new Austin plant will start building the Cybertruck in 2023. Seeing as the Cybertruck has faced many challenges in its productions, Oh my god. Well, stalling it for over two years. What makes this new multi billion dollar Cybertruck Gigafactory the perfect product for building the ultra futuristic vehicle? Let's find out. The new Gigafactory. The, the buildings were all separate. There's a lot of movement between the buildings. Um, and uh, the, the, the thing that we thought makes sense is to really think of it like, like a chip, like an integrated circuit. Uh, combine everything together in one package. And now, this is what you get. Giga Texas is located just outside of Austin, Texas, and it's Tesla's largest factory yet. During the launch event on April 7th, Elon proudly strutted out in front of a Cybertruck along with his design chief, Franz von Holthauser, and said, it's been an intense couple of years, but we're gonna have this for you next year and it's gonna be great. It's been, a, it's been an intense couple of years, uh, uh, but we're gonna have this for you next year and you're gonna, it's gonna be great. The two men seem to consider the idea of smashing its window with a hammer, as they famously did at the original reveal of the Cybertruck in 2019, but then chose to reject it as the crowd applauded. I didn't bring my hammer this time. Uh the Giga Texas site covers an area of about 3 million square feet, which is equivalent to about 60 football fields. With this new addition, Tesla now has a total of six factories across the globe. Giga Texas is designed to be one of the world's biggest factories, not only because Tesla wants high volume production at the plant, but also because they want the factory to be vertically integrated down to battery cell production on site. According to Elon, he has considered his Giga factories as the primary product of Tesla. The cars are just the byproduct of the process. Thus, Giga Texas is the most optimized auto manufacturing factory in the world. No automaker even comes close to it. Tesla and Elon have revolutionized the production line of cars with their Giga factories already, but they have taken the vertical integration to the next level in Giga Texas. All the various shops are arranged so that production actually takes place right in motion along the assembly line, from the supply of materials for production on one side of the factory to the departure of the finished car on the other side. Thus, it saves not only the precious time spent on production, but also the land on which the factory can build. The current manufacturing building occupies space equivalent to about 15 city blocks, and if you were to stand the building on its side, it would be taller than the Burj Khalifa by over 300 meters. No wonder Elon claims it is the world's largest factory building by volume. If you put building on its side, uh, it would, it's taller than the Burj uh, Khalifa. Uh, that's to scale. Uh, it's 80 feet tall. Um, it's uh, <laughs> uh, equivalent to three pentagons. The factory can produce up to 500,000 vehicles per year when fully operational. In addition to the Cybertruck, Giga Texas will also build Tesla's new semi-truck and the Model Y SUV. As of the recording of this video, significant parts of the factory are still under construction, but Tesla has already started the production of around 150 Model Ys per day. The foundations for the giant new Giga presses, developed by Idra Group and required for casting Cybertruck chassis components, have already been laid. It's expected to be operational by the end of this year. Year. I've made a whole video on them, and I'll link it in the description if you'd like to check that out. What's more, Giga Texas is designed to be as sustainable as possible. It will recycle water to reduce its impact on the local water supply. Like all of Tesla's other Giga factories, this one will also have a solar roof installed on top of the building to offset some of the electricity used by the factory. Tesla also says that the factory will have a zero waste policy, meaning that all of the waste produced will be recycled or reused. And there are even plans that the factory will generate its own food using an on-site farm. As if all these were not enough, within a couple of months of inaugurating the new factory, Tesla has already filed with the city of Austin to expand Giga Texas further, with an additional 500,000 square foot building at the site. Plus, the factory is rumored to have already created more than 5,000 jobs in the Austin area and will add a few more thousand in the coming years. With all this development work, the stage is set, and it seems like Tesla is well on its way to start churning out the Cybertruck within the timeline announced by Elon for once. So, let's have a refresher on the much-anticipated vehicle and remind ourselves of the capabilities of this new truck, the Cybertruck. 
Okay, let's talk about the Cybertruck. Tesla first unveiled the all-electric pickup truck in November of 2019, and it quickly became one of the most talked about vehicles in years. The design is certainly unique, and it's unlike anything else on the road. Its unconventional boxy design had me confused the first time I saw it. I remember thinking, were Elon and Tesla playing a joke on us? But as it turns out, the truck is designed keeping aerodynamics in mind. Its interesting design surprised many engineers in the first independent aerodynamics performance simulation test. It comes in at an unofficial 0.39 drag coefficient. Most pickup truck designs have extremely inefficient aerodynamic designs and generally have a bad drag coefficient between 0.55 and 0.65. So Cybertruck's novel design has some serious aerodynamic benefits, no doubt making the car more energy efficient. The truck's exterior will be made out of a stainless steel body. The high quality 300 series stainless steel alloy that'll be used for the construction will be corrosion resistant, strong and affordable. That's why the Tesla Cybertruck team chose a stainless steel alloy to create the Cybertruck exoskeleton. This steel alloy will be known as the Ultra Hard 30X Cold Rolled Stainless Steel. While the blend is proprietary, Elon mentioned during the product launch that the exoskeleton material of the vehicle is the same as the SpaceX Starship shell. There have also been recent reports that Tesla plans to use one steel supplier in the future, Steel Dynamics, which operates a factory in Texas. The facility recently underwent an upgrade worth some $1.7 billion, probably in preparation to support the Cybertruck's production demands. On top of all this, the factory is only a few hours away from the Giga Texas plant, which will further streamline the process. Elon has made a lot of fuss about the nearly indestructible body and windows during the launch event in 2019. It is expected that due to this all-steel construction, the Cybertruck will be more resistant to nicks and dents, plus the window glass is actually bulletproof, having been tested to withstand a 9mm handgun round. Now, that seems a bit excessive to me, but then again, when has Tesla shied away from doing the unthinkable? So, what can we expect from the production version of the Cybertruck, now that we know Giga Texas will be the base of production? Well, according to Elon, it will be very similar to the prototype that was unveiled back in 2019. However, there may be some slight changes to the design, such as adding side mirrors and making the headlights look less like a cyborg eye. When the EV was originally unveiled, Elon also mentioned that the exterior would see some redesign, including removing the door handles, although it was never clear how that would work. The truck will seat six people and is equipped with a 6.5-foot bed called the Cybertruck's Vault. The top is covered, but it unrolls if you need to fit in something higher than the vault's roof. This will offer 100 cubic feet of lockable exterior storage outside of the truck. The interior will be sparse and minimalistic as per Tesla's design philosophy, but offer additional storage under the second row seats and will feature a 17-inch touchscreen. It will also feature onboard power and compressed air for activities like camping. The truck can raise or lower the suspension by 4 inches and comes with 3,500 pounds of payload capacity. As for the specs, the Cybertruck will be available in three different versions, the single motor, dual motor, and tri-motor variants. They'll be able to do 0 to 60 in 6.5 seconds, 4.5 seconds, and 2.9 seconds respectively. The single motor rear-wheel drive version will offer 250 plus miles of range. A dual motor all-wheel drive version, or AWD, will reach 300 plus miles of range. And a tri-motor all-wheel drive version will have 500 plus miles of range. However, in a recent patent filing from Tesla for its Cybertruck UI system, all the sample photos show an available range of 610 miles, hinting at a potentially larger range on the EV. Although Tesla has not confirmed this, it is not unreasonable to believe that it may be achievable on the tri-motor option. All truck versions will come standard with all-wheel drive and Tesla's new Cyberquad four-wheel steering system. And like the Model S, the Cybertruck will also have an air suspension system that can automatically adjust the ride height based on the driving conditions. As for the price, the single motor version will start at $39,900, while the dual motor and tri-motor will cost $49,900 and $69,900 respectively. Tesla is also taking reservations for the truck with a $100 deposit. Furthermore, Tesla has begun introducing a V10 beta version of its full self-driving capabilities. Cybertruck customers can currently add the FSD feature for an additional $10,000. As of May 2021, reservations had surpassed 1 million and continued to grow even as deliveries looked less likely to begin before the year's end. Recent unofficial reservation trackers have put the pre-orders to over 1.25 million trucks pre-ordered. That should give you an idea of the popularity of the vehicle. According to the same report, most pre-orders choose the dual motor and tri-motor versions. Only an estimated 17% of the pre-orders are for the single motor model, which is the one supposed to be available first. So, to wrap things up, the production of the Cybertruck is set to begin in 2023, 
agree, and customers should start seeing the delivery from the second quarter of the year. So if you are one of those who have pre-ordered one, you'll most likely have to wait over a year to get your hands on one. But in the meantime, you can keep dreaming about what it would be like to drive this stainless steel beast of a pickup truck. What do you think? Will Tesla be able to stick to its delivery timeframe for the Cybertruck, or will we see more delays despite the fact that Giga Texas is almost fully operational? And when do you expect the Cybertruck to hit the road? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you are updated the minute we release another video. See you at the next one.